This is John chapter 1, verse 12, and he's going to bring up verse 13 right after this. But let's read this together. Ready? Read. But, but as many as, as received, received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. I thought I was born because I had a mom and daddy. Scripture wants us to understand that God is the author of life. Come on. In your life and my life, it's not a random happenstance. The circumstances that you're in, who you are, is not uh, just a random selection, if you will. It's a chosen. If you believe the scripture, you believe the scripture, right? Not who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but, and you could insert right there, but the will of God. God's the author of life. Amen. If you would put up uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9. I want to read this one. Let's read this one together. And so, Susan, you come on down and do announcements and all that. Do, do. I'll read this first and then we'll read it all together. Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in, and it says Christ Jesus, but I'm going to say Messiah, Yehoshua, before time began. So here's another verse that authenticates our identity as the Father, as the source of who we are. You're not just somebody, you're, you're, you're somebody that God predetermined to be here. Right where you are right now. It's not an accident, it's not a mistake. Let's read this together. Ready? Read. Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ before time began. Who has saved us and called us with a set apart calling. Everyone is called. We're all called to the same thing in this context. Not according to our works. What does that mean? Not according to what you're doing. It's not according to what you and I do for a living. That's not what he's called us about. But what did he call us to? Not according to works or what you do, but according to his own purpose. Say his own purpose. His own purpose. Do you know that there is something way more important than what you do? It's his own purpose that is, in, is the highest priority in what we do. Now, he gives us things to do and we enjoy them and they pay money and all that, you know. But that's not the greatest thing. The greatest thing is according to his purpose. Not only his purpose, I wish I could tell you the truth about this, but according to his purpose and grace. Are you intimately acquainted with the Spirit of Grace? You need to know how the Spirit of Grace operates, man. It is the best thing. Cheesecake is not that good compared to grace. It's just not. The best meal that you can put on the table is nothing compared to grace. We're called according to His grace. That's his desire and ability to do and bring us to him. That is the ultimate understanding of grace is he pours out grace and it draws us to him and causes us to will and to do his pleasure. That's the greatest which was given to us in Messiah, Yehoshua, before time began. Say before time began. Before time began. 
You didn't know you was that old, did you?